I'm standing today with two quite incredible horse chestnut trees and I've just been watching the leaves just blowing in the wind and catching the sunlight it's so lovely and I'm in quite a busy area I made a video about violets recently and um, I said I'd pass by these horse chestnut trees and I've known them for quite a while I wanted to just make a video about them so please excuse the sound of the wind and passing traffic because even with all that there's such an incredible beauty here today and I think I love all trees but I think there's something about the horse chestnut and the leaves it's just amazing And I don't think horse chestnut for a lot of people is a tree that we associate with food or medicine really. And maybe it's a tree that we may appreciate just for the beauty. But there are uses for the tree. And the tree itself, the Latin name is Aeschylus Castanum, which I think is a fantastic name. Aeschylus Hippocastinum. <laughs> Don't they sound grand, the Latin names? And uh, there's actually within the tree a compound called Aeschin. So that can be extracted and used to make a tonic, which can be used to tighten up uh, things like varicose veins and help to cure and, and ease hemorrhoids. So it's not so easy to extract as you may want to wish to look to a herbalist who may have made this for you. I personally find the tree a very majestic healing tree and uh, this one in particular by here doesn't have a sort of tall straight central trunk but they do often come like that you know they have a very very tall craggy gnarly trunk and they feel quite protective as a tree like as an oak tree might do there's two of them and the other one is just behind there now another thing I don't think we really realise about horse chestnuts is just how beautiful their flowers are. So we have a look here. Look at those. They're absolutely exquisitely beautiful. And we always think of pretty flowers as, you know, sort of garden flowers, don't we? And, and the wild flowers. And we, we sort of neglect the tree blossoms a little bit. But uh, you think about hawthorn and cherry and the horse chestnut are just absolutely divine and these grow up a central sort of stem where we kind of call it a candle so you look at the uh, we'll look at the flowers in a moment but they come up this central stem and what I find amazing that each of these flowers the bees love them by the way is the potential to become a chestnut you know so you think about the conkers you know we find on the ground and they look so beautiful now the conkers do actually contain tannins and they're not ones we can actually eat not like the sweet chestnut but you can actually chop up the conkers and they contain saponins so if you chop them up and put them in water and stir they become a sort of milky color and you can use that for laundry detergent i've made another video about this to show you how to do that it's quite incredible i wash my clothes in it and uh, it's, it's just as good and it's better for the environment so we just come through here and i'll show you the flowers Meandering now, you see all the flowers on the floor here. But look at these! Wow, look at those! Incredible! Look how tall this tree is. You wouldn't think that, would you? But wow, incredible! And if you come over here, the companion tree the flowers here are more white colour. So those are lovely, and it's a very windy day, as you can see. Coming up here again, look at this wonderful magical path. So whether you want to work with the horse chestnut, you know, and think about the healing elements, look for laundry detergent, or just appreciate the beauty, uh, just come out. And they're here, and they're just like gentle giants. You see these tiny leaves here. I like the uh, horse chestnut leaves because they look almost like a hand, an outstretched hand, and a bit like her. Uh, 
Yeah. At the hand, you know. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful tree. How beautiful is Mother Nature? <laughs>